What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's Hour 2. Today we're going to be looking at Milwaukee's Fastback Utility Knife. This one here is the full size version compared to the old compact version that I've already done a review on. I've had this one here for 4 months and I'm so happy with it that I've gone out and bought its bigger brother. So the main feature of both these knives is still in the name Fastback which means you can open it with one hand. It's that simple guys, one handed operation, as it says on the packaging, press and flip, it couldn't be any easier. So after four months of hard life, you can see there it's got a bit of wear and tear on it, um, it still functions 100% perfect, just like the day that I bought it. Anybody that sees this on a job site is so impressed that they immediately go out and buy one themselves. After four months, I thought I would have... Um, really got over this flipping function but it's so fun I still have fun doing it every time I need to open it up um, but today we're going to compare its bigger brother and see just how much difference it really is let's do this all right guys so let's open this one here up um, I'll open it from the back because it's got a spare blade in there so I don't damage it we'll open it up with my trusty Milwaukee knife I'll get rid of that spare blade first so I don't cut myself. So this one here says on there that it's got the ability to store extra blades in the back. Um, four extra blades. They've only given me one blade so I'm going to have to source my own blades to fill up that back section and see how well that one there works. So that is actually pretty thick guys. Have a look at that. We'll compare it <coughs> with the other one. It's almost twice the thickness. And obviously that's to store the blades. Um, we've got a full metal body here, um, which is nice and solid compared to the old one, which has a metal core and then it's got a plastic exterior. So initially when I bought this one here, I thought that the plastic's gonna be an issue. Um, number one, I thought it's gonna have not enough grip. Number two, I thought it's gonna break, um, gonna be flimsy or it's gonna break if I drop it. However, this one here is held up very, very nicely. I've got absolutely nothing to complain about this one here. Um, and I do recommend this one here to anybody out there that's looking for a utility knife or somebody that uses knives on a regular basis. So let's have a look at this one here. It is a lot bigger than I was expecting. We'll close that up. I'll figure out how to open that up later on. Let's try the flick function or flip function. Nice. That I absolutely can't get enough of. I'm going to put a blade in there and see what differences there is. So if we have a look here, if that'll focus for you guys. There we go. So it seems to have a little section here where it's indented for your nail to come out. I'm not too sure why um, as of yet, but we'll have a look into that in a second. Um, we've got the little release function here to be able to switch the blades over. So we'll pull that out once we open it up. Is there anything else? Um, looks like there's a little slot here to be able to um, cut some wire or strip some cable in there. So we'll test that out also. Now this one here is a lot more rigid than the old version. So the old version here, a little bit different in terms of the clips. Um, haven't really had any issues with the old clip. It sits perfectly in my the pocket of my pants or on a work belt. This one here is a lot more rigid. Um, so you should get hopefully a better grip wherever you hook that one there on. Let's put our first blade in and test that one there out. We'll use the blade that it came with. So that there is what it looks like guys. We'll compare these two side by side. And you can see just how much of a difference there is in terms of size. So um, this one here is obviously the compact version compared to the full size. It is definitely a lot thicker. I think I almost prefer the compact version. You can see look how much difference there is between the two. Um, you do get a nice solid grip on this one here. It's probably a little bit better of a grip than the compact version um, simply because you can put your finger in a lot further on this one here and get a better grip. Um, they do have ridges on top so that we can get a grip on your thumb as well. Um, so this one here is very ergonomic. I just don't like the thickness of it. So let's see if it's actually worthwhile. We'll fill it up with blades and um, we'll test that out. So flick that one there back closed. Now let's see how this one here actually opens. You simply pull it out by the looks of it. So if we open that, you swing it back and it retracts fairly easily. Hopefully that doesn't open on its own. 
All right guys, so I've got four brand new blades ready to go. I had to source these myself because unfortunately you only receive one blade um, with this brand new packaging here. So let's insert these blades. Something interesting is that this is actually magnetic down the bottom here. So we'll slot it in. Sharp side goes down facing the bottom of um, the storage container. Slide that first one in and it's magnetic. So if I give it a little shake, that holds into place. We can load up our second one third one and our fourth one so it's a nice tight fit in there um, which means that the blades are going to stay in position and it's also magnetic would have been nice if this had another locking feature here so that if i did need to open it it'll be like a safety feature i could press the button and then open it up and not have um, any chance of this actually opening up while i'm trying to flick it so something that I do find interesting is with this little indentation that I was talking about before, the reason why they have that is this locks open in two positions. So if we press the button, open it up, it'll lock initially at a 45 degree angle. We can press the button once again, and then it can lock 100% straight. Now, to be honest, um, it's a good thing and a bad thing. I can't really see any application where I'd wanna have it locked in at a 45 degree angle. Um, online, funny enough to have a picture of somebody cutting some drywall sheeting or some uh, plasterboard sheeting while it's locked in at the 45 degree angle. So for me personally, I don't see how that's very ergonomic um, or practical, especially if we imagine this section here is a drywall. I had to make my cut. Usually in order to get that stability, we'd wanna have my hand resting on the material. And then if I wanted to make my cut, I'm not gonna be dragging my knuckles along that material. And if I do raise my hand up above the material, then it's not very stable at all. So for me personally, I prefer to have it in a straight position, um, but we do have that added feature on there. Whether I use it or not is another story. So we've got two more features we can have a look at. Number one is the gut hook here on the back, um, and we've also got some wire stripping capability down here. So let's have a look at these two features and see just how well they work. So if we have a look down the bottom here, you can see a little slot designed to allow you to strip cable or wire, whichever one you guys like to call it. It's fairly wide down the bottom, so that means we can get a whole range of different cables through there. Um, and it does work very, very well. So the way it works is you simply place your cable over the top, put your thumb over that, and then you can pull back. And you can see there we've stripped that cable perfectly. Um, and it's nice to see that we've got an all-in-one type of tool here. Especially because previously to this, I used to use a pair of pliers, which does work very, very well. Nice and easy once again, and it's easy to strip that cable. But this tool here is kind of like an all-in-one. It's got a whole range of different features in there. And now let's have a look at this gut hook here. So with the gut hook, what I found is it works very, very well for your lighter gauge materials. So we've got here some string line. Works very, very well. Once again, we've got some cord. Loop that one there over. And it seems to cut through that with no problems. But once we get to the thicker gauge material, especially your plastic type of material, we've got here some line for the line trimmer. It does struggle a bit. Sometimes it doesn't get through depending on the thickness of it. Um, and other times it just requires a fair bit of force. So you can see that it does actually cut it but it needs a fair bit of force to actually cut through there. So what I'd prefer to do instead, open it up, loop the cable over, and then make my cut. So that's probably gonna be the easiest way to do it with the least amount of effort. Um, but all in all, that is the new blade right there, guys. So it is very, very versatile. It's got a whole different range of um, applications that we can use this one here for. The only one that I really don't like is that 45 degree. Like I said, it's an added feature. Whether I use it or not is a different story, um, but I'd still like to see where exactly you could use this kind of positioning. Um, for me, I've always got it out straight. Always been the case um, and very happy to do so. So if I had to pick one over the other, I'd personally prefer the compact version simply because it's so compact. If we have a look at the size difference between the two, that is a huge difference. It's almost twice the weight, um, probably about another quarter or another third of the thickness um, from the compact version. And I really like this compact size right here. I've always got this in my pocket. It's not hanging on my pocket, um, which means that it, I want it as small as possible. So if I had to pick personal preference, I'd pick the compact size. However, if you did want that um, added features, um, like the gut hook or the wire stripping, or you wanted to simply have that extra, extra storage at the back, then this one here is for you guys. But all in all, very good blades, definitely recommend them. Got nothing bad really to say about the two, especially the compact version here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. 
Thanks for watching, Bills Out 2.